You are viewing the installation process for an EasyTurf synthetic grass lawn system. Installed correctly, EasyTurf will provide always beautiful and water saving landscaping for many years to come. Properly preparing the project area prior to installing the grass is critical to a quality, long lasting installation. Begin by verifying if any irrigation systems are in use. Locate all sprinkler heads and bubbler systems that may be in the area. This can be done by turning on the irrigation system and marking the individual heads. Cap off the sprinkler heads. If there are no sprinkler heads that need to remain active in surrounding planters or tree wells, it is recommended that the irrigation system is capped off at the source to prevent any leakage. Remove the existing grass, sod, or landscaping materials. Clear the area of all debris. The amount of removal will vary by geographic area and ground cover makeup, but typically three to four inches of material should be removed, especially along all hardscapes. A sod cutter is recommended, saving a considerable amount of time over using picks and shovels alone. One pass to cut out the organics, the second to cut through the soil. A base of crushed stone is recommended, providing a solid foundation for optimal drainage and to reduce the chance of unwanted dips and bumps developing under the grass over time. Cover the entire area with three to four inches of crushed stone and spread evenly. Grade and level the base. Shape to the desired appearance, flat, slight roll, or mounded. Lightly wet down the crushed stone base and make several passes with a plate compactor to achieve a 90% compaction rate. The area should be as smooth and firm as possible to eliminate bumps under the turf. Once the project area is prepared and a good base is established, you are ready to install the grass. Begin by verifying all measurements prior to making any initial cuts to the grass. This will minimize the chance of wasted material. Please note that all synthetic grasses have a grain that must be considered when modifying the shape or for designs that require seaming. Cut to fit to the designed area and roll out the grass. Much like carpet, stretching and pulling the grass over the project area is necessary to eliminate any wrinkling of the material. Finishing cuts must be done in short increments to match the project design including the contour of borders, keystones, paver stones, and areas designated as planters. All required cutting and trimming of the grass must be done from the underside of the grass along the stitch row in short increments. A carpet cutter or razor knife is recommended. Seams may be required as part of the installation. Begin by laying the grass out over the project area, ensuring that the grain of each grass is facing the same direction. Secure grass perimeter with landscape nails. All seam joints should be glued to prevent separation of the grass and for weed growth. Start by separating the grass at each seam joint. Pull back six to eight inches of the grass and lay seaming tape on the base materials to align with the joint seam. Pour weather resistant adhesive and spread evenly. Replace the grass over the seaming tape. Separate the blades to expose the stitch rows to avoid pinching of the blades and secure with landscape staples. Nail the grass down along borders with six to seven inch spikes, approximately six to eight inches apart. This demonstrates the two-step process of a sand and crumb rubber infill. Other infill options are available, which would require only a one-step process. Begin by spreading the sand over the entire project area. A power broom is suggested to ensure the even distribution of the sand into the grass. Next, apply the crumb rubber infill by hand or with a spreader generously throughout the area. A power broom is suggested to ensure the even distribution of the crumb rubber into the grass. Repeat steps until desired density and look are achieved. Following these steps and procedures will provide for a beautiful, high quality and long lasting easy turf installation.